In this video, we'll be going over five reasons on why you shouldn't breed your bulldog. You guys, everyone doesn't know how to care for a dog, genuinely. Alright, so a lot of times, us breeders, we go out and spend thousands of dollars on these dogs because we love these dogs. We don't mind picking up poop all day. We don't mind having litters and them crying all day and us having to explain to our families that this is what's going on in the house. But when a lot of people see these dogs on TV or they just see them on social media, they just buy them off of popularity. They don't buy them off of love. A lot of times they probably do genuinely, they probably do love the dog, but they don't know what comes behind really taking care of these expensive high maintenance dogs. So number one, you guys, you know, um, it's, it's very, you know, you really don't know who you're selling to just depending on if you personally know them. So a lot of, a lot of times people, they do not take care of these dogs the proper way when they buy them. So that's one reason that you might want to reconsider breeding your English Bulldog, specifically your Frenchie, because this page is about Frenchies, but I do have English Bulldogs as well. You guys, number two is very important. A lot of puppies pass away. You know what I'm saying? Within that first couple days to even a couple weeks, a lot of puppies pass, and that's just something that comes with the game. So that is something to most definitely consider if you are thinking about breeding, but it's most definitely a reason to not want to breed because you're talking about you've been and had a litter of all five or six or seven puppies and they all come out stillborn. Or you'll have a litter of six puppies and, and you know, two of them pass away. Um, one is already claimed for, the other one is going to the the stud owner and now you're just left with two puppies. You know, you spent thousands of dollars. so. Number two, you guys, um, a lot of puppies don't make it. A lot of these puppies, um, I've heard and seen for myself so many stories of, you know, just puppies passing, you know, stillborns and just all type of other just uh, problems with birth, all right? So, and number three, time consuming. The time that you have to actually have in your life makes a huge difference in this particular breed, you guys, because this, these are very specially needed, uh, lovable, spoiled, very high maintenance dogs. So another thing about breeding, if you don't have a lot of time on your hands, you probably shouldn't breed uh, Frenchies. All right, if you don't have a lot of time on your hand, because it's gonna take a lot of time, even if you pay someone to whelp your puppies, when they come back, if you have a litter of five puppies, seven puppies, and they all survive, um, then you're still gonna have to like make mush, you're gonna have to pick up so much poop, and you're gonna have to have a lot of time on your hands to even be able to love these puppies you guys so very 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 important and then number four the whole breeding process is very expensive before you even are allowed to get your puppies you're going to spend thousands of dollars just on ai's progesterone tests uh surgical whatever that you're going through to i mean c-sections um uh, depending on if you already have male or female you're going to have to pay someone for a stud fee I mean, it's just a lot that goes with the whole breeding process. It's very expensive, you guys. So just thinking that you're, you see these people with these expensive dogs and you just say, I just want to hop into the game and we do, 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 do this. You have to have money to not only invest in, but you have to have money to lose and still be able to pay your bills, still be able to take care of your children or whatever responsibilities that you have, you guys. So that's very important. Um, the expense that it takes to even breed, to even take a male, female, hit them both, and actually have a, a litter, you know, a successful litter. All of it takes money from the food that you're, 
you're buying for the dog, the vitamins that you're giving the mom before she has the puppies, you know, after how you're taking care of the puppies before you can even get them to um, their forever homes. There is a lot that comes with it and it's very expensive, you guys. So you might want to consider that or reconsider that if you are thinking about breeding. All right, next. Number five, you guys, I know I'm going to sound like a hypocrite, but in all honesty, um, we breeders for these particular um, dogs, we are reproducing nothing but health issues. All right. And I'm fortunate enough to not, I haven't had any vet bills with my dogs. There's been small things that I've experienced, like litters that I've had, cherry eye, and other things that in nature. Uh, these dogs naturally have allergies, but I'm fortunate enough to what, what I feed my dogs. I haven't had allergy problems or anything, but just off of what I've seen in just the Frenchie community, a lot of these dogs are being bred incorrectly, and you really want to consider that when, you, when you're talking about getting into this game because I have saw a lot of just bad Frenchies uh, bred just very incorrectly, and it's just, it's, it's, it really even has made me reconsider should I even continue being a breeder? Should, you know, sometimes I even think about, but then what, what makes me continue to be a breeder is because I am one of the good ones. I am one of the ones that care for dogs. I am one of the ones that try to match this blood with this blood to get nothing but the healthiest dogs. And, um, and I just know that even if I, as one person, stop, the, the world is going to still, um, you know, provide Frenchies. So I just have to stay in my lane and I just have to, you know, have the best breeds and the best bloods and the most healthiest dogs because there are a lot of health issues that come with these dogs, you guys. So, so many health issues. And it, it's kind of sad. Just some of the things I saw, some of the stories, um, and I don't even want to go into detail. You know, we, meet me in the comment section and we can, you know, talk more, or maybe I'll make another video on just strictly health issues and things I've saw, just horrible things that I've saw these dogs have to go through just because of health issues, their genetics, and things of that nature. All right, so number five, you know, if you don't have a, if, 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 you, if you're not built for it, don't get into it because some of these dogs come with health issues and you have to consider yourself actually producing you know, a dog, a breed that actually is known for having health issues, all right? So, hope this video helped. Leave comments, let me know, was this video helpful? I will make a video of five reasons on why you should own Frenchies or just Bulldogs in particular. And until next time, you guys, one love, peace. Say peace, mama. Say peace,